Dude, quite some man right there. Don't yell at me. Dad, what the dad is so fucking loud, man? Somebody's out of here. I'm a black girl in So there's no real consensus surrounding this capture. This was uh, really early on. We were only in the building for maybe five minutes. I had just set up the action cam and given it to Dozer. And with the action cam, he actually managed to capture this. Now, some of us think this is a scream. Others are of the belief it's a breath. I think it's a scream because you can hear an echo, but it's not a human scream. It's more animalistic. I tried to clean it up because the action cam has shitty audio. Take a listen. That's good for you either. If it's restricting how much you're taking as a breath. That's good for you either. If it's restricting how much you're taking as a breath. Yeah. Yeah, mommy. You know what you're talking about. Tristan? I know Tristan, exactly you better what you're stop. Be quiet. Where'd you come from that you slammed into it? I was standing right here. I literally, all I did was I turned around. This will give you some idea of how in tune with, with the living, the dead sometimes are. If they hear you lie, they have no problem calling you out about that lie. They will let you know that they know you're lying. Give it to Dozer. Feel better? What? Feel better now? Better. 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 That's a safe. Guitar. If you tap this, it'll break. Switch your 
I can't see. I can't see Chunky. I have. Um, I need class. This is not going to work. Dude. It's too much. They can't help it. They're coughing and shit. It's not going to work. My cough is only happening because of that mask. Did you change to the new one? Guys, you guys bring cough drops? I bought cough drops. Yeah, I was using one of the other cough drops left in the hope for this kind of cough. I don't think. Well, the nasty hard ones really help. Those aren't the ones they brought. Would you like to go down the road? Too short. The licorice ones. The anise ones. I'm happy to do it. All right, so take a look. I've done a split screen here to try to illustrate that we've caught something anomalous on the thermal that does not show up on the full spectrum slash night vision camera on the bottom. So here I was going to leave the audio relatively intact with a bit, little bit of a noise reduction because there's some funny dialogue. But after upload, when I watched it back, it the sound of the cough drop wrapper rendered the video like unwatchable. So now, unfortunately, you're stuck listening to me tell you all about it. Maybe you don't even know you did it, but I think I would know if I shared it. Here. Damn, the battery's already dead. One consistent anomaly with Fairfield is the battery life of the camcorder, the night vision camera. Anywhere else I use this camera, I get 30 to 40 minutes out of a battery. At Fairfield, you're lucky if you get 20. Put it down. Put it down. You pick it up, you it Listen, if I have to talk to you over and over, we're done already. If I have to talk to you over. So, for now, because it's the only thing I could do. I'll show you the sink and my sister's phone. Oh, we're done already. Just hold on right now. Yeah, you can turn on your hand out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go anywhere, we have to check and recheck that nothing is left behind. <laughs> So now we're making our way to the third floor to a place that we call Ratatouille Wing. Uh, we call it Ratatouille Wing because of the mummified rat carcass that's been on the floor in the hallway for a couple of years now. And uh, usually when we get up there, we get a fair amount of activity.
So you'll hear me periodically telling everybody to turn the lights off or to dim them as we pass by windows. And it serves two purposes. One, the obvious. I don't want anybody on the outside knowing that we're inside. But two, it adds a little anxiety and stress to the investigation. And because Autumn and Jen have never been here, I'm trying to keep it stressful at least a little bit. It makes it more exciting. I had no idea, however, how active it was going to be this night. And therefore, there really was no need to add any stress or anxiety to this investigation at all. Another split screen with the thermal and the full spectrum camera because we capture something here that gives off heat and for all intents and purposes through the thermal looks like it's alive but when you're looking at the full spectrum side by side you can't see anything but there is definitely a heat signature take a look oh, oh. P -E. no. You shouldn't even know what the fuck that is. What is it going on? Nothing, Tristan. She doesn't even know. Okay, I'll see you in 666. Don't say that. Yeah, you're not. So, I'm going to slow this down because I want you to really take a look at what I'm talking about. On the left hand side, you're going to see this thing pop up like a whack-a-mole. It pops up and then I move the camera away but then I come back. I must have seen it in the moment although I don't recall. Then it seems to slide between the doors at the end of the hall. Watch the heat signature slide between right there. I mean what in the hell is that? Really what is that? I have no explanation for this. Clearly you don't see anything in the full spectrum but it's a heat signature on the thermal. Now what I've found since I've started doing investigations is that very often you'll get heat signatures from invisible stuff. Don't ask me what it is. Puckwudgies? I don't know. Let's take one more look at this thing, okay? Slowed down, zoomed in again. And um, my rational mind tells me this must be some sort of animal, a raccoon, something along those lines. But clearly on the full spectrum, there's nothing there. Now, I filmed stuff like this before in a previous video at Downs Road that's out in the woods. And at that time, when it popped up out of the ground, I thought it was a puckwudgie. But this is in a hospital. Can puckwudgies be found anywhere? Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah, you're not. Don't read that shit, dude. Get away from that now. Do what's not go near that. What is wrong with it? Come on. Take a look at it. Not down it. Just to show how. Okay, what's the helmet? There's a liquor's helmet down there. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. This capture literally surprised the hell out of me. Um, the door at the end of the hall. 
you're going to see an apparition move, literally run across that door. Watch closely. I'm sure if I was a better editor, I could make this pop for you, but I tried a few different things. I did the best I could. I hope you can see it. Now I threw together this little split screen with the footage from the action cam and from the full spectrum so that you can see there's no one in our group that could have cast a reflection on that door or anything that could be misconstrued as this apparition. It is, in fact, what it looks like, an apparition running from right to left across the door. No. Alright, come on, get away from the elevator shaft. Get away from it. Walk this way. Now. Yes, no. If I have to tell you again, we're done. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to call it a wrap right here. I mean, we've had this much activity in this short amount of time. We haven't even reached Ratatouille Wing at this point. So, there will be a part two coming up. I hope you enjoyed what I've uh, been able to put together so far. And I really hope you'll tune in for the rest of it. Thank you very much.